We will present here an overview of the Mobro Congress 2016 showcase put together by Corient and Brocade demonstrating the smart mobile cloud. On this slide you can see an overview of the demo. On the left side is the Corient mobile backhaul network including Corient 8600 series routers controlled by the Transcend SDN controller. On the right side of the network is the mobile data center provided by Brocade including a virtual EPC, a virtual router, and then a Brocade controller instance as well as an OpenStack tacker instance to orchestrate services within the data center. At the top of the screen you can see a GUI slash orchestration platform which will send REST API calls to both sides of the network to instantiate end-to-end -end services, creating a single network slice over the SDN enabled virtual network. So here's an overview of the use case we will show. As you can see on the mobile backhaul network, there is an IPVPN dedicated to this single application with bespoke performance, as well as a uh, virtual EPC instance and a vRouter instance that have been created with specific configuration scaling and parameters based on requirements from, in this case, an IoT application we will show. All of this is coordinated then through the orchestration platform to the north and as we walk through the demo you'll see this created in real time. The next slide then will move us to a view of the demo itself. On the left side you can see the, uh, the user interface and on the right side is the, um, is the screen from the 8000 INM network management system from Corient. And so first we'll go into the GUI UI on the left side and we'll log in as a mobile user and as we do that, we'll then pop up a map of a region. We'll look at the sites available and we'll grab one of the data center locations and use that to configure a virtual EPC. This is now the EPC configuration screen. First from our toolkit, we drag in a virtual EPC instance. And for that EPC, we'll also go to a drop down menu and select an IoT template. There are a number of scaling options available on the EPC and we'll select one here appropriate for an IoT application. And then on the bottom half, we will select a virtual router instance to form the basis of our GILAN interface between the virtual EPC and the, and the, uh, the public internet. And for this, we'll also drag in a firewall instance with a customized security policy for that application. Other virtual appliances are available, but we'll use those two for now. And on the right side of the screen, we'll open up the OpenStack Tacker user interface. And as we submit a configuration request, the REST API calls will go to the mobile data center to in initially instantiate the VMs over which the EPC and the V router will ride, and then to create those, those appliances themselves. The process takes a couple minutes. And as this takes place, we'll go back to the home screen of the uh, GUI user interface and create the mobile backhaul network. So first we go into the mobile backhaul configuration screen. We go to an IPVPN configuration tab and now we'll drag from left to right a couple locations. First we'll drag over a, a couple E node B's for the network and we'll also select the, uh, the data center site where we created the, the, the EPC instance and we'll select delay, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then hit submit. And so what's going on right now is that API requests are being sent from the, uh, the orchestration platform to the current SDN controller. And uh, in doing this, we also selected delay as the option for creating this IP VPN. This means that latency or delay will be used as the primary decision making factor in building these LSPs. This is enabled by a path computation element, the context optimized path computation element that has been created by Corient to support um, uh, customized performance based uh, service configuration. And so what we'll do here is build LSPs based on lowest hop count, sorry, lowest latency instead of lowest hop count as you would normally expect from RSVP TE. Uh, we've inserted some additional latency on one of the links of this backhaul network. The diagonal link from the upper left to the lower right hand corner has additional latency built onto it. And so instead of using that path, we use an alternate path to build the LSP across the network. And that will create a, uh, a dedicated uh, path for a latency sensitive application. So we'll go back into the, 
uh, the 8009M user interface. We'll click on an eNodeB and the EPC location and we'll show the LSP is now tracking on a, a longer hop count but a lower latency path. And then as we go back into the user interface itself, we'll see that the, uh, the, the um, orchestration platform is now aware of the IPVPN as being instantiated and that will wrap up our demo.